Hey, in this video I'm gonna show you a really neat trick to massively and very easily improve the readability of your website titles or text. This trick is gonna make your website look so much nicer with almost zero effort and users are gonna love you for it. Let's take a look at an example. So here's the gist of it. When you have a title or text on your website, you can do the following. Look at this example. On the left hand side, we have the default title as is when you insert a title on your website. And on the right hand side, we have something called a balanced title. See what this means. As I expand this, you can see on the default title that you have on your website, there are really awkward word breaks for certain screen sizes. And that is not ideal for readability. Look at this hanging word, it just looks really off. Whereas with a balanced version of the same title, it looks really clean no matter the screen size. And you can't just apply this to titles, you can apply this to anything you want. For example, tooltips. Check this out. I'm gonna zoom in a bit so you can see this easier. On the left hand side, default. On the right hand side, a balanced version of the default. When we're in full width, you can see it looks identical, almost, kind of. And as we zoom in, we can see the benefit of what balancing does for us. Right here, for example, on this certain width, the default looks really awkward because there's one hanging word breaking the link in the middle of it, which looks really weird. On the balanced version, it looks much more readable. And if you've been wondering if this works with text, hell yeah, it does. As we zoom out, you can see the text looks very readable on both sides, but as we zoom in, Right, these hanging words, they just look really, really bad on your website and balancing out or text or title or tooltip just gets rid of it and looks way nicer. And let's see how exactly this works. Is this some kind of black magic? Not really. Take this example, the before title. It's the regular title and depending on the width of this, the man is going to be in the next line for or title. And then what this balancer does for us, it essentially tries to reduce the width as much as possible depending on client side variables that it gets. We're gonna get to that in a second. So essentially, it tries to move this boundary as far to the left as possible. So it tries to avoid a line break until it is necessary and tries to push the width as far left as it possibly can. In the source code, this is the only thing I'm gonna tell you about. We are not gonna worry about the rest. This is the most interesting part. So you can see we have a document.query selector at the very beginning of the re layout that essentially allows us to do this breaking thing. And we are selecting an element with this certain tag, a data dash oops br of a certain ID. We're gonna see that here again in a second. And then as for the main functionality, well, these are based off of client-side rendering properties. How is this certain element displayed on your browser, on my browser? That's what we're getting right here with the container.client width and client height. And then we are doing a synchronous binary search to calculate the layout. So how can you apply this in your app right now? It literally takes 30 seconds to do. It's really easy. This is your app, this is your title, go into VS Code, and then we're gonna install one dependency. And that dependency is called yarn add react dash wrap dash balancer. Hit enter, install that dependency. And once that is done installing, we can start back up the dev server by running yarn dev npm run dev. And what did I do here? We can import a balancer from react wrap balancer. This is fully TypeScript compatible. It's a really easy library to get started with. And then inside of our H1, this is where we're going to insert the balancer. And let's see what exactly this does for us. Because the first thing we'll be able to see is that will actually fix our title just as expected. So once I reload this, you can see our title has actually been fixed. How though? What happened? Let's take a look at the DOM nodes just for a second. So what exactly is this balancer doing for us? Well, you can see right here, it is inserting a span element. And do you remember what I told you earlier in the source code? Let's go back just for a second. This right here, the data-br, what we're trying to select using the document query selector. Remember that? Here it is, it's the data-br and then a certain ID that we are assigning to this title. That is how we get access to this DOM node. And then you can see our actual h1 or the content of our h1, the lorem ipsum that I inserted here is wrapped in a span. And this span has a certain style attached to it and handles all the resizing logic that I told you about earlier, where we try to push the boundary as far left as possible, turning our title essentially into a really nicely readable piece of text for everyone navigating our website.
Hey, if you enjoyed this video, chances are you'll also enjoy this one on the screen here, a really neat TypeScript trick to level up your TypeScript game. That's gonna be it for me for this video. I'm gonna see you in the next one. Have a good one and bye bye.